In response to the arrest, the angry black community listened to their young minister King and peacefully boycotted public transportation in Montgomery for 382 days. The black people acted happily endured the inconvenience and hardship of not using public transportation. The news of this nonviolent boycott spread quickly all over the world. Encouragement and funds came in from Europe, Asia, and Latin America, as well as from many parts of the United States. The entire world wanted to help King in his peaceful crusade against racial discrimination. Many white people felt threatened by such a united front. They did not want to give the black people equal rights. As an act of threatening violence, a bomb was set on the porch of King's home one night and exploded. Fortunately, King and his wife and four children were safe, but the black people were angry and on the verge of becoming violent. King spoke to the black people and explained, you must learn to love your enemies and let them learn to love you. I want everyone to know that even if I am stopped, this movement will never stop. What we are doing is just and God is with us. The angry crowd calmed down and returned to their homes quietly. What does King symbolize? Martin Luther King Jr. stands as a symbol of freedom in the United States of America. When was he born? He was born in 1929, the year the Great Depression began. Why was Rosa Parks arrested? She was arrested in Montgomery, Alabama for not surrendering her bus seat to a white passenger. Mm -hmm. What did the black community do in response? To the arrest. In response to the arrest, the angry black community listened to their young minister King and peacefully boycotted public transportation in Montgomery for 382 days. Did the entire world want to help with the crusade against racial discrimination? Yes, the entire world wanted to help King in his peaceful crusade against racial discrimination. Uh -huh. What did King say about enemies? He's, he said, you must learn to love your enemies and let them learn to love you. Next page. What did the Supreme Court do in 1956? In 1956, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that the segregation of blacks and whites on public vehicles was illegal. What did it mean for black passengers? It means every black passenger was now able to pay and ride on any bus or train without having to give up his or her seat to white passengers. Mm -hmm. Where did King move in 1960? In 1960, King moved back to his hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. Next page. What happened in October? In October of that year, King was arrested along with 33 other young protesters for sitting at the counter of a white only restaurant in a local department store. Where was King sent? As a result, King was sentenced to prison. Who helped King get out of prison? John F. Kennedy helped King. Okay, next page. Who began to join King's marches? Soon, white people joined his peaceful marches and sang with the black people, We Shall Overcome. What are people shocked to see on television? Many people shocked to see on television, policemen spraying water with fire hoses on blacks marching peacefully. Tra what brought horror and shame to many Americans. Most of all, it was the beating of and violence against the black people that brought horror and shame to many Americans. Okay, next page. What did King tell the American people? Mm, he told the American people, I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of all men are created equal. What did Congress do in 1964? In 1964, Congress also seemed to under Congress also seemed to understand the rightness of King's words, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was passed. What did King receive in 1964? In 1964, at the age of only 35, King received the Nobel Peace Prize. Next page. What did New Militant black leaders argue? New militant black leaders such as Malcolm X argued that blacks would never be able to live with whites. What happened in 1965? 
1965, in Los Angeles and other major cities, riots erupted, and many blacks and whites were killed. The king ever water in his faith in non-violence? No, king never faltered from his faith in non-violence. Okay, next page. What happened on April 4, uh, 1968? On April 4, 1968, in Memphis, Tennessee, King was shot and killed while standing on the balcony of his motel room. Mm -hmm. What did he transform? He transformed personal humiliation into moral and civil concern for the entire world. What did he teach? He taught people to live in peace and equality. 